Okay, Jason Moonwall, JM on the fly. Going to do a little bit of a steeper look at my uh, brush machine and uh, how I build a brush. And uh, I'm going to get it from a better angle so that you can see everything happening. So I'm just going to reach up here and turn this down. Just like that. And you should be able to see the entire brush machine. The table, the bed, this folds away. We'll start out with some wire. I'm just going to lay this through here. Wrap this around this spring. Basically weld it on a spring here. So the more you tighten it, the more that pulls. It's a little forgiving then. We'll wax our wire. Get some wax on there. And then I lift this up. Tuck my thread right inside there. That stays nice and tight. Bring the table up and we're all ready to go. See I have a little tape measure here. Do a bit of a flash brush here. Just so you can see what's going on with that. A um, little bit of fiber here. I'm going to take some of the uh, SF fiber in kind of a, a little bit of a cream color. I'm going to cut that in half. This flash brush, I'm just cut that in half, the material there. And uh, this would be for like the bass style flash brushes. So I usually try to make them around four inches. When it's all said and done, it ends up being about two and two. Take this material and I'm just going to lay it out pretty evenly across my table or the brush machine just like that and the nice part is I could probably get a get a different kind of brush here and show you two at the same time so there we go a little bit of the cream SF fibers gonna take a very little bit of this olive and I just want a teeny little amount of that and again I'm folding it in half making a nice cut and then them ends are nice and even I'm gonna put that against the ruler a little stop here Cut that off at four inches, and I'm going to spread this out throughout the flash brush. And this is really like a flash tail uh, covering. So you have a tail, and then this is a little bit of a skirt that ends up having a lot of flash in it. You can see it just switches that all over around, uh, darkens it up a little bit. <clears throat> Next material, we'll go with some crystal flash. Again, this is a flash tail skirt, so we need a little bit of flash. So I'm just going to take a few fibers here. That looks like it'll be a little too much. And we'll watch how much flash you put into these flies. A lot of people get way crazy with it. And again, we're just going to put that against there, measure that off at four inches. And we'll take these fibers now. And we'll just throw a few in across this brush, just like that. And just working our way across. A few more here in the front, a few more here in the back side, and pretty much that'll do it. You tap that down. And the last material. We're going to use some polar flash. And I'm just going to take a neat little snip of this. Snip that off nice and tight there. Grab these fibers. Again, just take these fibers. I'm going to just fold them in half. And this is actually pretty clean, so I could come in with my scissors, snip that in half. I could, oh, I missed one, there we go, 
and I could just snip off the ends pretty much even and drag them across this would give us a nice this adds a lot of nice flash in your in your tails and again just sprawled out throughout it'll just uh, open things up then basically this is a, this is a this is a flash skirt that we're creating to wrap around a, an existing tail that's pretty much flash skirt main body of the fly we're going to be using some craft fur I'm going to take some craft fur here and we're going to be cutting that off and basically handle this kind of like deer hair just going to pinch it here and we're going to pull out the short fibers and then I'm going to throw this across relatively 50-50 just like that let me get another nice little hunk of it and you cut that craft fur nice and tight to the mat this is the uh, better craft fur too this is the select so select craft fur you get the long fibers if you buy the stuff at oh one of the art places like Michaels or one of them places you end up with short craft fur this ultra select is really the best gonna add a little bit of olive in with that remember even with this skirt you could use pretty much anything you want as far as uh, flash if I wanted to add a little bit of flash in with this skirt I could do that too a few F SF fibers or whatever you want and again I'm just gonna spread out some olive throughout this and it doesn't have to be perfect you know, think you have to make everything just perfect or just right don't worry about that Oh, that's a little bit of a heavy cluster we'll get rid of that and maybe just a little 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 bit more another little snip here and again combing out the, pulling out the short fibers and we'll just add a few more in stuff sticks to your fingers and kind of a mess but Either way, that's pretty much the brush. We'll end up with uh, a little craft fur brush and a little, you know, normally I would do the entire thing, you know, basically this the whole way across and this the whole way across, make two brushes, and then I'd work off of that. But just to explain it to you and not to take so much time up, I'm going to do this. We're going to wax our wire. We're going to wrap it around. Here, I'm just going to put a little pressure on that spring and I'm just going to tie this off. Come around here about four or five times. And you see that's nice and tight. Grab our little wire snips. Let's cut that off. And we're pretty much ready to spin it. You can look one more time to make sure you have everything even. These, I like to just cut off. The tail is not as important we could trim that when we get to the fly but if we have any extra fiber sticking out on that it's nice not to have to trim this once it's in the fly we're just going to pull this down and we're going to begin spinning this and we're going to spin this up until we see most of these particles you can see how nice that brush is it's just uh, gorgeous and I'll do a little bit more basically as long as the back ones here are not pulling through you're perfectly fine so that's probably enough tension I'll give it a couple more spins here every time I run the comb through but that right there are two two really nice brushes you got a craft fur brush you got a flash uh, tail brush or basically uh,
going to entrain whatever tail you have uh, that has a lot of flash built into it. We got all kinds of random lengths here. This ends up being random lengths because you're just laying it on, so it's really nice. And that is, and I'll just pull this camera up a little bit so you can see me. And that is the brush machine demo. So it's it's, it's one type of brush. I, I have other videos where I show you different kind of brushes. There are all kinds of brushes you can make on this machine. And uh, make sure we want to check out the uh, flies that you tie with them. That is JM on the fly, and I'm out of here. Okay, this is Jason Mumo, JM on the fly. And I'm here at my brush machine. And I'm going to show you how we do the brush. I'm going to actually make a brush for a tri, a tri brush fly. And uh, there's a brush, there's a fly that I tie with uh, three different brushes. And uh, in this case here, I'm going to combine them all into one. So, I've got an old Singer sewing machine here that I modified into my brush machine. And I just simply take this over to the other side and wrap the wire around it. Very quick. I lift this up, I bring this around, and that holds my wire right in place. Put a little bit of uh, wax on the wire, wax that up a little bit, and we'll fold up the table, set the table up, turn that so everything's in the crack, and we're ready to start our material. So what I'm going to do here, normally I do one big brush. I'm going to show you the different components of this and uh, how I do this. On my tool tray here I have a little measuring tape. So we'll start with the head material first. And the head is going to be made out of fish hair. Very stiff fiber. That's what I want to wrap the head with. So I'm going to take a select little group of fish fiber. I'm going to cut that right off the hank. These only need to be about two inches, so I'm basically snipping this into little two inch increments and letting them pile up. Take that grouping and I'm just snipping them up. And you end up with a nice little stack that looks something like this. And we can lay that out on our board. And we can just fan that out. Just like that. And just kind of evenly distribute it. You can use your scissors and just separate it a little bit. There where it's a little thicker. And then a very little portion, of course I was a fish hair and tan, so I'm going to take the fish hair and olive and I'm only going to take a little bit, just want a teeny little highlight of this. So I'm going to do the same thing, cut that off into two inch increments. evenly divide out over the top of the tan. It's a lot less of the olive than there is the tan. And that's kind of the sequence I'm using for the entire fly. And again just spread it out so it's pretty much even. No big deal. I'm just flatten that off. And that's going to bristle up and that's going to become our head. Now the body's craft fur, so we're going to take our craft fur, select craft fur, and I got more of a tan or a lighter color, cream color kind of. And we're going to snip off 
decent chunk of that. I'm working with a craft fur. It's kind of like deer, deer hair where you can pull out the shorter fibers. Get rid of them. And I'm going to lay that across. So it's pretty much in the 50-50 range. And I'm going to load up a little bit of that. Of course, like I said, if I was doing this normally, I'd do the whole brush. i do a whole brush of each, each thing. But to save time and to show you how this is done, I'm going to do it this way. We're going to do the three different brushes that I use right on this same pad. And again, we're just removing the fine hairs, laying that out, and just kind of evenly distribute the, the hair across there. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take about less than half the amount of the olive color select craft fur and again coming out and in this particular one we're just going to set some light highlights in here just lay that out just to get a little bit of a cream type of or a little bit of a olive cream mix and get that all spread out so it's kind of even there we go and I can even take a little bit of the longer fibers here there we go and just add them in and if you want anything sticking out past here you can snip off Anything sticking past here we can snip off. We don't need our fibers that long. That's a little bit longer brush. Now we're going to go to our flash. And I'm going to use for my flash, the first thing I want to lay down is a little bit of uh, SF fiber. Let me just take the slightest little bit of that. Same thing, I'm going to take that and I'm going to cut that in halves. I'm going to line that up and I'm going to cut that off right about the four inch mark and this I want to be lay across as a flash and I'm just going to lay some pieces across and that's what's going to give this fly the flash tail or surrounding the tail Again, just a very little bit of the SF in the olive. Very little. Very little. That might even be too much. We'll take a little bit of that out of there. Again, fold it in half. Cut it. Measure that off to about four inches. Cut that. Then we're working with just a few select hairs. We're just going to drag them across. Like that. Fan them out a little bit and just lay that in there as some of our flash. We're going to add some more flash. I got crystal flash here. I'm going to pull a little section out here and measure that off at four inches. We'll cut that. I'm going to add a few fibers in here every so often. That's going to give that tail a little bit more flash. It's going to look pretty neat when it's all said and done. And last but not least, we're going to use a little bit of this slightly olive polar flash. Get a little few hairs of this. Going to do the same thing. Going to come right up to the top. Cut them as close as I can. Again, you take that and fold it in half. Cut it in half. Then we'll take these fibers and we're just going to evenly distribute them across the brush. These could be trimmed out later because they are a part of the tail. So I'm not really worried about length on this. If they stick out and they're uneven, it only looks more natural. 
and that's going to add pretty good flash to that tail. So we got our head, our middle of the body, craft fur, and we got our flash tail. Basically that's the the brush and of course like I said if I was doing this normally this would be solid each brush would just be a big brush and then I would work off of that but it's easy to show you the different flashes now now all I'm going to do is wrap this around and we're going to just come around here oh, maybe three four times we wax the top of that wire snip that off and again before you spin it you want to make sure everything's in place and all your different fibers are pretty much where you want them to be and then you are ready to spin it now we're going to spin this brush up now I want to spin this right to the end of the so I can see that that's pretty much tight. So we got the bristly fibers, we got our craft fur fibers, and I can uh, zoom in on that a little bit. There we go, now you can see the different fibers in there. So basically, spin that up, comb it out. There's your flash tail, there's your craft fur body. And there's your head and that head once it's tied in gets trimmed and it's nice and stiff fibers that we want for that head and that could go around lead eyes or whatever type of head you want and that is basically the tri brush spin it up a little bit more again same deal comb it out snip it off And that is the brush. That's what we're going to tie the, uh, the tri fly on, tri brush fly. So uh, that's a little intro on the brush machine. Jam on the fly. I'm out of here. <laughs>